ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಗ್ಯೋಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃತಿ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸರಂಗ ಪರಕಾಲ ಮುನಿತ್ರಯಾಪ್ತ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಾತ್ಮರಕ್ಷಣ ಇತಿಯುಗಾಗಮಾಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿಪೂತ ಮನರ್ಗಶೀಲ ಗೋಪಾಲ ದೇಸಿಕ ಮುನಿ ಗುರುಮಾಶ್ರಯಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಶಿಷ್ಠನಪ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ತೇ ಪೌತ್ರಮಕಲ್ಮಷ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮಜಂ ವಂದೇ ಶುಕತಾತಂ ತಪೋನಿಧಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಯ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾಯ ವ್ಯಾಸೂಪಾಯ ವಿಷ್ಣವೇ ನಮೋ ವೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿಧೇ ವಾಶಿಷ್ಠಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ದ ದಿವ್ಯ ದಂಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ನಾರಾಯಣನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಟು ಟು ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಗಸ್ನಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ಲೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಗಸ್ನಾಮ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ರಿಸೈಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಂಟಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಗಸ್ನಾಮ ಈವನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ರಿಸೈಟೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ಶವರ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ದಯಾ ವಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಲಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಎನ್ಲೈಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎನ್ಲೈಟನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ದ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮಚ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಬರ್ತ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡೆತ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ರಿಸೈಡ್ ದ ಫಲಶ್ರುತಿ ಲೇಟರ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ವಿಶ್ವಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುರ್ ವಶತ್ಕಾರೋ ಭೂತ ಭವ್ಯ ಭವತ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಭೂತಕೃತ್ ಭೂತಭೃತ್ ಭಾವೋ ಭೂತಾತ್ಮ ಭೂತ ಭಾವನ ವಿಶ್ವಂ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ಟಿ ದ ವಿಶ್ವಂ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಮ್ನಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಮೂವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಮೂವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ದ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ವಶತ್ಕಾರ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಭೂತ ಭವ್ಯ ಭವತ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಲೈಕ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಪೆರಿಶ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ವುಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸರೀರ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ವಿ ವೇರ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ದ ಆತ್ಮ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಬರ್ತ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಆದಿಶಂಕರ ಇನ್ ಭಜಗೋವಿಂದಂ ಸೇಷ್ ಪುನರಪಿ ಜನನ ಪುನರಪಿ ಜ ಮರಣ ಪುನರಪಿ ಜನನಿ ಜಟರೆ ಶಯನ ಈಗ ಸಂಸಾರೆ ಬಗು ತುಸ್ತಾರೆ ಕೃಪಯಾ ಪಾರೆ ಪಾಹಿ ಮುರಾರೆ ಸೊ ಭೂತ ಭವ್ಯ ಭವತ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಭೂತ ಕೃತ್
on the other bird does not eat does not do anything else just watches witnesses and this one bird which eats and goes down or up in the branch of a tree is the jivatma the other one is the paramatma which simply witnesses and watches the other bird going up or down so he is the antaratma so bhutatma bhuta bhavanaha not only he is the antaratma he is the bhuta bhavanaha he is the one who nourishes he is the one who nurtures all being he is the one who feeds us maravachama tani utva he is the one who nurtures who gives us who feeds us who nourishes us there was one uh, one alwar by name tirumaishai alwar his original name was bhakti sarar he is born in tirumaishai so he was called tirumaishai alwar and this tirumaishai alwar was a great devotee one of the greatest devotees and uh, he was a yogi he was so devoted that even permal was so pleased with his bhakti and from tirumaishai which is near near chennai it's it's in chennai from there he walked up to kumbakonam kumbakonam aravamudan there is a charangapani permal in kumbakonam aravamudan permal lord aravamudan the aravamudan names in name itself is so beautiful the insatiable nectar if you you you, you enjoy him you would never ever get satisfied enjoying him he is so beautiful majestic divine so you would never get satisfied looking at him so he is called ara amudan so that ara amudan he wanted to visit and pay his namaskarams to ara amuda permal so he went there to tirukkodandai kumbakonam he walked because those days there were no car bus tra- train flight nothing so he walked 300 kilometers and then he was tired he reached by the time he went into the temple the, there was curtain was drawn and the the archaka the priest was going to offer the food the prasadam to permal when the, when the permal was offered prasadam they generally close the curtain nobody would see and permal was feeling pity he was taking pity on the devotee ardent devotee who is waiting outside that too after walking so many kilometers tired hungry frustrated hot sun because it was the month of april you know the scorching heat in in this place so permal instructed the priest stop before feeding me go and give this prasadam to the trimaishai alwar who is waiting outside so priest simply followed he took the prasadam outside and offered to the devotee trimaishai alwar and trimaishai alwar said you haven't i haven't even heard the ringing of bell you have not even offered to permal why you have brought prasadam to me offered to permal he said it is permal's niyamanam it is permal's instruction he is the one who asked me to offer to you because he says my devotee is waiting outside so he offered so as per the command and the order of permal he partook little bit of prasadam and it was taken back to permal so this was at a, in this was mentioned by acharyas because he is bhuta bhavanah permal is the one who nourishes and nurtures all beings he he would take care of us we should we need not think that we have to earn our bread he, he who is who is feeding the animals the bees the the insects the birds the trees who is nourishing so he would nourish and nurture only thing is we have to accept what he nourishes us if we want that pani puri and chole bhatura he he may not give he may give just a bowl of rice 
सो दट इज भूतभावन देन भूतात्मा परमात्मा च मुक्ता परमा गति अव्यय पुरुष साक्षी क्षेत्र ज्ञोक्षर क्षेत्र ज्ञ अक्षर एव च विच इज द नेक्स्ट श्लोक भूतात्मा परमात्मा च ईज द प्योर सेल्फ वन हू हेज अ प्योर आत्मा ईज द प्यूरेस्ट हि इज नाट लाइक अस् वी आर् कवर्ड बै द अविद्या वी आर् वी आर् आलो द आत्मा जीवात्मा बै द बै द नेचर ईज प्योर बट वी आर् कवर्ड and we are full of dust we are full of ajnana we are we our gnanam is so contracted it's like the lamp whose light is darkened by the shadows by the by the by the so many obstacles and hence the light is not even visible outside putatma paramatma cha he is the supreme soul and muktanam paramagati muktanam paramagati he is the ultimate goal of all souls all jivatmas mukta naam the the jivatmas there are they are called three types of jivatmas one is baddha jivatma like us who are born who are, who take birth one after the other one one body after the other body there are so many millions of births that we take like a cycle there is no beginning there is no end because of our heaps and heaps mountains and mountains of punya and papa that we have committed even the punya is is a golden cage the papa is an iron cage the prison if the prison is made of gold it is punya even the swargam is a, is a is a is a sin is a papam means even when you go to swargam you will be asked to spend only few few time limit they would say few years you can be in swargam few hundred maybe few thousand maybe but once you are there your clock starts counting down once you finish they will kick you out of the swargam you have to drop come back if you are committed sins you have to go and have the narakam the hell and that also once you are there you are you are based on the puranas there are very many punishments for all the papams that we commit and then again after finishing that particular papam you have to come back so the the papam for narakam and punyam is only a portion of what you we have committed it's not that we get completely absolved of all papams when you are in narakam or we get completely absolved of all punyam when you are in swargam it's not that it is only a handful even when you are taking a birth it is only a handful of our karma for it which we are blessed with this with this birth and in that human birth when you don't take the opportunity and you commit more and more papams you commit more and more sins in not going in accordance with what has been asked what we have to do we don't what we should not do we do and then we commit more papams and we in which you are already mountainous papam have one more mountain gets added to next so there is no end these are all baddha jivatma then if you are devoted if you perform complete unconditional surrender to primal if you are on the way towards him he would lift you up and once you attain get rid of these buts by by doing what is what is being instructed in the shastras to get rid of further buts then you attain his abode his divine abode which is you become a muktatma the same jivatma when he attains the lord's divine abode he is called mukta the one who has attained moksha that is muktatma that is why mukta naam parama gati that muktatma's ultimate goal is he vishnu that is gati he is the ultimate destination is the muktatma there is other atma which is nitya atma he is nityam in permals abode divine abode in his divine place 
he is there who is like adisheshan the sudarshana the garuda the vishwaksena all those they are all there so three kind of atmas jivatmas one is baddha jivatma like you and me other is mukta jivatma those who were like you and me but have gone there attained moksha and have become mukta so and then the nitya suris who are always there why should somebody be always there it is perumal's will sankalpa so mukta anam parama gati avyaya one who is indestructible avyaya he he is indestructible of course our jivatma is also indestructible our jivatma is never born nor never dies our jivatma krishna says in bhagavad gita to arjuna that do not worry cry at the at your cousin at your dro acharyan at your grandfather who is going to be killed in this battlefield nobody is going to die because all jivatmas are never born or never dead krishna says true they are never born never, never dead they only take this body uh, in this birth and the body gets killed and the jivatma leaves for another body so that is also indestructible but this avyavaya means one who is indestructible in his nature in his body in his rupam in his swarupam in his kalyana gunam in his saundaryam in his karunyam in his moksha pradan he is the one who can grant moksha nothing of this is destroyable whereas our quality every day we change we are so fickle one day we are in good mood other day we are in bad mood one day we want to study other day we do not want to study one day we love our our spouse our parents our children next day we bark on them so it is he is not like that he is eternally ever smiling ever friendly apatsaka artikalpaka he is a friend he is a he, he is a trusted friend therma and purusha avyaya purusha sakshi he is a purusha means one who existed before anything else he has been there from time immemorial as parama purusha and one who completes the existence he is the one who completes the existence of this world of the universe of the atma and he is the sakshi he is the one who directly witnesses everything in everyone he is the sakshi the witness he like the i said two birds the upanishad said two birds one bird eats and goes up or down one who commits punya go up one who commits papam go down whereas the other bird does not eat does not go up or down he is simply watching so the antaratma the antaryame the indweller in each one of us observes what you do do not think that when you are alone in the room with nobody watching you can do anything he is always watching he you can never ever cheat him we can never ever lie to him tondaradi podi alvar one of the alvar mentions so such a beautiful verse most appropriate for me he says i i i go in front of your sanctum sanctorum the sannidhi i go in front of your temple your sannidhi and fold with folded hands i pray i pray with so much of devotion with my eyes watery with the tearful eyes i recite stotrams <coughs> and all this is vesham all this is only drama natak i do all that and you are smiling you accept my prayer you think that you are pleased with my prayer which is a drama and i see you being pleased with my drama and i come out of the temple and i i start laughing at myself that even though you are inside me 
who is the indweller as the antaratma who witnesses everything as a sakshi that this rascal he is not even sincere not committed not doing anything truthful and he puts all these veshams wear tirumana on his forehead and come in front of me and act as if he is a sincere devotee with tearful bringing tears in his eyes choked throat he is acting in front of me thinking that i am pleased but he knows everything and alvar says i know that you are the witness and you know everything and still i go in front of you and make a drama and i am laughing at myself for my stupidity he says and he, he is not like that alvar is actually very sincere he has written for my sake that i need to contemplate on this particular aspect every time i pray he is a sakshi purusha sakshi he is the one who directly witnesses everything and no way that we can cheat him and chetragnya one who can direct to the place one who is a, who, who knows the gnana and one who knows about it, the action one who knows what he should do so this chetragnya chetragnya aksharah <coughs> one whose greatness never ever diminishes one who great his greatness never ever diminishes aksharah so here just just one one name which i want to touch upon is this <coughs> just a minute yeah the mukta nam paramagati the mukta attains complete complete access to parama purusha he gets rid of all bondage samsara and attains unparalleled wisdom unparalleled gnana unparalleled freedom he enjoys all bliss the moksha samrajya and his knowledge the gnanam is full of full of brightness now and he he has the same status the same gnanam the same bogyam the the pleasure the blissful state and the same proximity to the lord the supreme soul paramatma he enjoys all bliss along with the parama purusha the paramatma so the 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 property of the paramatma which is the jeevatma and the property owner enjoy the same level except that the jeevatma one who reaches there will not be able to create will not be able to give moksha but all other bogyams the pleasures are the same and we would enjoy doing kaikaryam the service to paramatma and to our acharyas gurus and to the nitya suris there there would be no jealousy there would be no competition there would be no lethargy laziness all that and so this is the eternal world of blissful state and mukta mean mukta bears a pure body full of sattva guna mode of purity and one who has taken to this life is calm equally disposed towards all beings fully self controlled he attains the highest place and that is shri vaikuntha so purusha sakshi and then we have purusha sakshi chetragnya chetragnya then aksharah aksharah is one who never wanes one who never diminishes he is called akshara because he never becomes less he is the object of enjoyment parama purusha is completely unsullied unaffected undiminished he is attained and enjoyed by others but when others enjoy he does not diminish he is eternally safe and he and he would never ever he would never ever diminish in his glory in his power so chetragnya one who can direct to the place one who can direct the jeevatma to the place to reach supreme anandam so here bhutatma 
परमात्मा च मुक्ता परमागति अव्यय पुरुष साक्षी क्षत्र अक्षर एव च अक्षत्र दिस् वन सो व भूतात्मा वन हु हेज अ प्यूरात्मा परमात्मा द सुप्रीम सोल अंड मुक्ता परमागति वन हु इज द अल्टिमेट पुरुषार्थम द गोल द डेस्टिनेशन द फाइनल पॉइंट फॉर आल सोल अव्यय वन हु इज इंडेस्ट्रक्टबल वन हु ग्रांट्स मोक्ष मोक्ष ददा मुकुंद ओनली मुकुंद कैन ग्रांट मोक्ष मोक्ष ददा मुकुंद नेम इट से मीन वन हु ग्रांट्स मोक्ष पुष वन हु एक्सिस्टेड बिफोर एनी थिंग एल्स and one who completes the existence sakshi one who is the witnesser one who is a one who witnesses everything one who watches observes everything chetragnya one who directs the jivatma to the place to reach the supreme abode one whose greatness never diminishes is akshara we will enjoy more ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಸಿಂಹಾಯ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಗುಣಶಾಲಿನೇ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶಾಯ ವೇದಾಂತ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಧನ್